Your CBT questions answered now. It's the NMC CBT with Nurse Mary and your host, Christina. The NMC CBT is part of the current 2021 Test of Competence. That means that if you're an international or return to practice nurse, then you'll need to pass this exam to gain UK registration. So whether you're here in the UK and need guidance to get over the NMC CBT hurdle, or you're overseas and need reliable online preparation, we're here for you. Here at IELTS Medical, we have books, courses, and lots of learning resources to see you through the NMC's CBT the first time. Inquire today about how we can help you pass your NMC CBT. Call 0203 637 6722 or visit our website at www.cbtnurses.com. We'll see you soon and, as always, to your success. Hello and welcome back to another episode of NMC CBT Discussions with me, your host Christina and our nurse Mary. Hi. Hi Mary, thank you for coming back to answer some more CBT questions. Today we're going to be looking at some Part B midwifery questions, so let's get started with episode 47. Question one, when might a patient become aware of fetal movements? 22 weeks onwards, 16 weeks onwards, 18 weeks onwards or 12 weeks onwards? Okay, so the answer to this question is B, 16 weeks onwards. Okay, and question two. Which of these medications is included on the midwives exemption lists? Question two. Which of these medications is included on the midwives exemption list? Mephipristone, pethidine, labetalol, propest. Okay, so the answer to this question is B, pethidine. Question three. A high risk result is obtained after serum screening for Down syndrome. What is offered? Testing to determine chorionosity, amniocentesis and chorionic villus sampling, an ultrasound scan, termination of pregnancy. Okay, so the answer to this question is B, amniocentesis and chorionic villus sampling. Okay, and question four. A woman has sustained a third degree tear. What measure and advice does a midwife offer to prevent infection? Advise the woman to take analgesia if the area becomes very painful. Inspect the perineal area and routinely perform a swab. Offer advice about why infection occurs and how careful hygiene can help promote healing. Ask a general practitioner, GP, to prescribe antibiotics. Okay, so the answer to this question is C, offer advice about why infection occurs and how careful hygiene can help promote healing. Great, and the last question for today, question five. A woman is struggling with pelvic pain. What is the cause? Weight of the growing pregnancy, ligament stretching, urine infection, pelvic girdle dysfunction. Okay, so the answer to this question is D, pelvic girdle dysfunction. Okay, great. And that is all for episode 47. Thank you, Mary, once again for answering all of those CBT questions. And thank you to everyone watching and listening at home. We really hope that you found that episode and all of the episodes helpful um, to your CBT preparation. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss an episode and we will see you next time.